Greetings, this is Classic Engines Redefined. My name's Rich. What we're looking at today, this is another Mutator Monday. Um, what we do here, and this is a very basic one, uh, that usually happens a lot, and I want to show two specific examples here of what you can do in a game. We'll just call this category of, of Mutator ch Equipment Change. And there'll be another one which I have, which is Equipment Replacement. But this is equipment changes. We're using the standard equipment, and what you do is you just modify the rules of the pieces and the board. I was originally going to do this to show the Eurasian pool, which I will here, but I also want to show John Kipling Lewis's simplified chessboard. With the simplified chessboard, you push the pieces up one row, and the board's eight wide and seven deep. The dynamics of the piece changes where they only go ahead one space everything else can remain the same in his simplified chess he got rid of everything it's like my new york chess but he took everything out and there's no castling or anything else uh this board enter actually interest lead to interesting dynamics so what we did here is that you ended up just blocking out that's what those red blocks are i'm just blocking the board off to say they're not part of it so that's the simplified board what we do with the Eurasian pawn in this case here, and I have this open because I'll show you how to do it in regular chess. But first thing, I'll show it here. The way the Eurasian pawn works, and it's what I did was a response to the unbalanced play here, was the pawn only advances one space forward. Like in regular chess it has, for example. But what you have here, and excuse me, I'm going to try to reduce the height a bit. I don't need it that much. What we have here is that by the way when i'm showing this here is that this i'm going to move over here in a minute that's why I have one board normally you only play that's why i have the second board here but you would move forward and it's called a eurasian pawn or the way it captures the european pawn captures diagonally but this pawn here also gets to capture forward it doesn't move laterally that's what it was it's, you still have a fragile pawn structure but it provides you a little bit more strength for protecting in front and that's why you have the Eurasian pawn here it protects the front for an uneven board that's an odd number of rows without doing it so there are other ones that will give you ability if you check out my near chess for example what you'll see here here actually not near chess my corner chess sorry when you look at corner chess for example uh, I have the piece moving diagonally and some people will do that other ones give the board and a piece will be flying ahead three spaces so if you have let's say a nine deep board here as opposed to eight you could use this pawn to give it a movement of two and it protects in front of it just something very minor there and let's go over here i'm going to spin the board around for a second and what you do in regular chess if you want to play with the eurasian pawn not as much useful you can go one or two spaces and it then could capture in front or let's say you wanted to give the pawn ability to move one Let's do this here. Boy, I'm being a train wreck. <laughs> Anyhow, you can go one or two and then have it capture that way. I wouldn't use it here like this. But if you want to have, let's say, one more of a chatrange pawn, you then could have it protect up in front. So anyhow, just some things. This is, we call this equipment change as a mutator. And that's about it. So I do want to thank you for watching. And may your die always roll five. I'll have a link below to, um, or it's a, I'll put whatever else, just links to it. I just wanted to show this to you in the Eurasian pawn. So that's it. Thank you for watching. May your die always roll five.